sitting here talking to you right now at the Hungarian-Croatian border, going back into Croatia for a short drive before entering Serbia. And uh, I'm looking forward to being back in Croatia a little bit. I like that country. When we ask the question, what is the meaning of life? We assume that life, in order to be justified, has to have a meaning. We surrender our birthright. We surrender the truth of who we are when we ask the question, what is the meaning of life? As if existing is not enough. Not only as if existing is not enough, but what we're doing is we're displaying a type of ignorance. We're displaying a lostness. We're displaying the fact that we don't know who we are because if we knew who we are, we wouldn't have to ask, what is the meaning? What is the purpose? We exist. And if you can't see the beauty in that, in who you are, you're going to look for purpose. It doesn't mean that there aren't things that we can do. But when we start from a place of looking for purpose, we give up all of our power. We give up all of our position, our royalty. We give up all of our lands. We give up all of the truth. We don't need a purpose because we are such amazing things that there's nothing we could ever do that's greater than who we are. I think if we all knew who we were, if we were all uh, doing this right, everyone would just realize they're okay. There's nothing to achieve. We would just do out of the abundance of who we are and what we are. And who and what we are is truth and love. And so we would love. And so if somebody asks the question, what is the meaning of life? It's to be who you are. But you don't have to, because you're still you, I'm still me. If it's never realized by us, if it's never actualized by us, if it's never turned into a, a game plan or a business, if it never converts anybody else into the understanding of who they are, if it never brings anybody else peace, we're still who we are. It's unchangeable. And it's a beautiful thing. This is the foundation. This is the foundation. All right, so this is where a lady walks down the road, takes all of our passports, and then gives them back to the wrong people. Hello. Hi, it's the wrong question. What is the meaning of life? The right question is, who am I? I am. And out of who I am, I choose and I do. I don't have to answer to why. And I don't have to answer to meaning or purpose. These are pitfalls. These are distractions. These are things that we chase in order to feel okay. But the interesting thing is I think it's the last thing we chase. I think when everything else gets tiresome, I think when everything else proves itself to be false, we're left chasing meaning and purpose. And I think once we can let go of that, I think we're left with the truth. When I'm in touch with who I am, I don't care why I'm here and I don't care why I was made or if I was made. I don't care about my origin. I even don't care about God in the sense that I don't care to define God. These things lose their value. And I lose my need for them. funny that as I care less about the answers and I care less about knowing the facts, I want to know the truth, but the facts become less important to me, even the facts about God. I feel more like God. I feel more in communion with God.
Truth is so much better than facts. Facts are poor substitute. You know, I don't even know if I care anymore about being happy. I think I just want to be who I am. And my path seems to suggest that the willingness to be and see and experience things that I don't want to be and see and experience, the willingness to open doors no matter what's on the other side is my path forward. It has been lately. I want to get to the bottom of who I am and just hang out there. And if my truest, deepest nature is misery, is unhappiness, is criticism, it's fine. I'll be that. And it feels like that's a decision that comes from letting go, not hanging on, not clinging, not grasping. That feels pretty good. That feels like part of the flow of life. It feels good.